Hello people YouTube, this will be vlog eight. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's not, it's, it's dull but it's not raining so it's, it's not too bad I suppose. Just decided to head out for a spin, it's Sunday the 3rd of November. I was out yesterday, I done like a, a shakedown test of the bike. Um, just to check everyone. Everyone was kind of working, everything was, was okay, gearing was good. The only th I did have a problem. Um, my chain came off the, the, the front derailleur because I actually touched this um, gear changer. Because my, my cycle cross bike's only got the one crank set, so I wasn't used to it. So I just went to pull away and I just happened to touch. And it, I must have been on the top ring actually. Uh, and it dropped it down and I actually went, it kind of caught a little bit, but it wasn't as bad. It was a bit of a, a, a code brown moment. Um, but I noticed when I was on the top gear, I noticed when I, ch I checked my tyre because I, I went down a, a little rut. But uh, I noticed when I was on my, my, my higher gear, or my, my, my low gear, the front derailleur was actually, the chain was just catching, it was making a, 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 a noise. So I adjusted it, I just adjusted the high point. Uh, I don't know if I went back a little. Oh, excuse me. I might have went back a little bit, and that's kind of fixed it. It's still not changing, like, crisp up to the top. It's kind of... It's kind of dragging a little bit, so I need to maybe do some more fine adjustment when I get home. But apart from that, the bike's fantastic. Uh, I set up some of my, my GoPro cameras on it. I've got one here, just at the front, and also had one at the back looking towards my cassette, but it didn't go very well. My, my foot, the back of my ankle was catching it. I got some footage of it, I moved it higher up. Um, which kind of worked, but it's not ideal, really. I really don't know where else I could put it, to be honest. It's... I think it's something for the back seat post, but I'd need to... I don't know how I would do it, because it's like a... It's almost like an aero post, an aero tube. But yeah, I just decided to pop out. It's not a bad day. Get another spin. I kind of want to do more than 10 miles, but I don't know. I'm still really baby steps at the moment. Uh, kind of really just want to get out like every day, but I probably actually could go out every day. Somebody's also had a little party here. There's a uh, Chris Parkett's left. And there's also cans and more Chris Parkett's. So somebody's, somebody's had a little bit of a picnic, not tidied up. But, uh, I'm actually f filming on my my phone. Like I'm trying to save my GoPro battery. I've only got the one battery, so it's... I want to try and get footage maybe on my bike. I'm going to review the footage that I've taken, especially in the front, because I think it's slipped down a little bit. Um, and then when I'm going to go after this, I don't know. Uh, just I don't know I was going to go my usual route but I think there was a bit of rain last night so that pathway is going to be quite bad uh, I could also go up this way but I don't know I'm, I'm kind of undecided I kind of I, I do want to do more than just like maybe my usual mile they start ramping up a little bit but uh, I don't know. Let me wait and see. But anyway, it's. Uh, but yeah, the, the bike's fine. It's apart from that, I need, I need to check that that gear set. You can micro adjust, which I might actually fiddle about with it when it's here. Um, and then see if I can fine tune it a little bit. But apart from that, Evans Evans cushed it. Uh, let's see, it's not a bad morning. It's. Forgetting this helmet's got a little bit of a peak at the back. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it was cold, 
It looks like there's rain showers about, but I don't think we're going to get much. Blue sky as well, so we're okay with that. Uh, I can't think what I was going to talk about. Oh, I can't really remember. But yeah, I was just, I was just fiddling about with GoPro attachments. I think they kind of work. I see, I'm going to review the footage just to see what it's like. Um, also put my my phone mount back in my handlebars. Um, future wise, I might get some kind of different mount. Although, to be honest, that mount's good enough. Um, I might get something different. No, I don't know. Have you even have you got a a 4S iPhone, which makes quite a good cycle computer because it's quite it's a little bit smaller. Um, can link it up with this phone and use that. It's not got the same features as Strava on this. The, the 8, it's kind of, it's not the same. You can't really update it beyond a certain point. But I mean, it does as a cycle computer, it kind of works. Battery life's a bit suspect though. Uh, I don't know if there's a way that it can maybe save battery power on it, but I don't know. So yeah, we're just out, out and about. Man on a mission. Ah, oh, it's peaceful here. It's kind of, you know, you, you get the water. You can hear the sea as well, just, just over there. A little bit, just by the bridge. Ducks, swans, fish. Rubbish lying about. Yeah, it's good. But also, at Another thing as well, I've been getting cramp right in this, my inner thigh, which is quite a good thing because obviously I'm starting to work muscle groups that I don't work. So the legs are starting to get conditioned. Uh, and that's the whole point of doing the vlog. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I just want to kind of chart on my, not really necessarily fitness, but it'd be interesting to see how it progresses. Uh, like, you know, just skip a year ahead from, from this point on and see where I am, you know, a year from now. Uh, it could be totally different, you know, it could be a... Hopefully by then I'm doing longer rides and just, you know, just generally just doing a lot more. But yeah, the bike's, the bike's really good. Uh, the, the big difference, and straight off the bat, my cyclocross bike's got disc brakes hydraulic disc brakes. This has got rim brakes, which I actually kind of wanted a bike with rim brakes, just for, to cut down a bit of weight, and I don't know, just just the aesthetics of it. Uh, the brakes are actually really good, but you don't have the same bite power, you don't have the same stopping power as you do with, with, with disc brakes, so you've got to be a little bit more aware. You know, if, if, you, if, you, if something happens in front of you with disc brakes, you can actually stop really quick. But the rim brakes, you know, you're a bit more, you're going to be a bit more, just a bit more tight.
did he? It's actually bricks. Yeah, you can see the mess. Look, it's somebody's had some cherry tango. Flash feathers. Okay, that's uh, different. Don't know what that's all about. But yeah, um, don't know if you actually. But it's probably not the best. Uh, you can't really, you can't really see it as good. But yeah, that's just the kind of battery obsession that you have. Um, you know, if it's not like a hundred percent, you start panicking. I mean, could you imagine if if, if your your body had like a, a kind of life battery? Like, if, <laughs> I don't know what percentage I would be at. I don't think I'd really want to know. It's a bit like, um, oh, I'll just sit down again. It's actually a bit like, um, I, know, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but um, if you ask people, if, if you could go to somebody and say, right, I know exactly the, the, when you're going to die, do you want to know? Yes or no, right? And if you did, you could tell that person, like, right, you could tell them just the year, you could tell them the year, the month, 
can actually tell them exactly to the second, that the exact time they're going to they're going to whites out. Um, but you can imagine that you've got a little percentage marker. That'd be quite scary, actually. I mean, you just live your life. You get up, you do your whatever you do that day. You go to your bed, rinse and repeat. As long as you enjoy yourself, that's the main thing. I'm actually starting to get a little bit cold. I'm still trying to work out what, what I want to do. Uh, I really just don't know. I kind of want to go out that cycle route again. I could cut elements of it off. I can actually come out at Brigadoon. Which could be a... Which could be a possibility just to mix it up a little bit. I just don't know. I'm so... I don't know, I, I kind of, it's not that I don't want to cycle today, I'm, I'm, that's a way that I'm, I want to cycle, but I also want to go home and just relax and get warm and, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's weird, sometimes you get it where you just, you want to cycle, you want to go far, you want to do it, and there's other times you just, I don't know, you get kind of, yeah, kind of like, yeah. It's starting to get cold as well. It's, I think I need to get some heat in my body. But I really just don't know what to do. I've only done about a couple of miles, so. Uh, got that hill climb. There's always some, there's always something to get a dog on it though. I can't really do Strava times because you start bombing up the hill and this guy or a woman or somebody's got a dog suddenly appears. Yeah, it's not good. In fact, probably most of the times, I don't, I don't really attempt Strava. It's like, it's, it's good to see where you match up and who's done the fastest time, but a lot of times it's not really practical. Anyway, that's the, that's the, that's the battery percentage uh, rant over and done. That's what it is. Anyway, bye. Thank you very much.
go again. Blue skies above. It is kind of patchy cloud, but <sighs> nah, I can't get a bit of bad grit in my face. Uh, Sunday spin. Start to heat up again. I was going to actually get a little bit cold. Uh, but just out. This bike's amazing, man. I just. It's so responsive. I did that hill climb. And. There's a guy in front of me. He sewed me down. Moment. Uh, yeah, he sewed me down. This bike went up that, that hill absolutely easy. Could have had a lot more power. Probably better my time before, but the guy in front of me was like, he was on like a kind of community type bike, it was like a race bike, and he was actually starting to struggle. He was weaving about a bit, he was pedaling quite a, quite a high gear, and he was kind of, I had to actually make a, I don't have a bell on my bike, so I had to make a bit of a verbal, um, just to let him know that I was coming through. Uh, the only thing I noticed about this is the first time I've actually had a carbon fibre bike. I've had carbon fibre forks, but this bike's actually a C10 carbon, which is like a higher grade than carbon fibre. Um, one thing I've really noticed a cyclocross bike, although it's got thicker tyres on now, so it probably will be a more comfy ride. The one thing I noticed that the, this bike, although it's a road bike and it's kind of, the tyres are quite, quite a high PSI, uh, it's not as bumpy. The, the, the carbon fibre, frame, forks, seat post, wheels, are all carbon fibre and they really absorb the, the bumps. Another thing I noticed as well, and this is kind of weird, you're more in tune with the road, even down to my pedals. I've got, I've got uh, Ultegra carbon fibre pedals as well. So it's really just an old carbon fibre package. Um, and I, I noticed that it's, it transmits through the bike. I can actually feel it in my feet. The bumps, you know, when I'm going over, like, kind of like, fine an old type of road that it's like, you know, it's kind of like a pair boy surface, it's just not like really, really smooth asphalt. You can actually feel those bumps in your feet, which is actually quite, it's kind of nice in a way because you're, you're in contact with the road. Some of the roads, as I say, the surface of some of these roads are just horrific, that's the only one I can use to describe. But you're in touch with the road and it's, Really quite, it's quite a good experience actually. Uh, as I say, the bike's just amazing. Um, it's just, I think it looks good. You know, the wheels look good, the frame looks good, the colour's good. You know, it's not an in your face colour, it's quite understated, it's good, nice. my Strava runs. I've not really had a, a good Strava route where I could do it without uh, somebody, somebody there. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Catch you later. Bye.